My name is Lawrence Doon. I'm 72 years old and I'm retired from the railroad. Retirement is, in my personal opinion, you're so much busier than you are when you're working. When it came to my prostate problems, I didn't think there was anything wrong until they did a scan and found it. A fellow that I worked with for about 40 years, he was in the hospital. They were treating him with radiation and different things, and he fought it for about two years and finally passed away. So, uh, but when they tell you you've got something, you, you need to take action on it instead of, you know, dragging your feet and putting it off. They always tell you and believe sincerely that they got it all. But you, you know, you never know until you go back and you should, you should follow up. It's really important, I think. How you doing, doctor? Good, the star is here. No, the star, <laughs> the star is lost. The star is lost. He went to see, finally, a urologist because our nurse practitioner, she was the last one, of course, that had done a, a PSA and so, I started doing my research and due diligence, and I decided on Dr. Baylor. And as it turned out, I picked a really good one, so. With his cancer recurrence, based off of the PSA, the next question, of course, is where is it? And what treatment should we do? When should that treatment be started? What are the side effects? So with Elucix enabling us to see the side of recurrence, we can recommend a treatment. We're going to have you put your head right here, sir, feet down there. Okay. With a pet agent that's molecularly targeted to a cancer receptor, it's a whole new day. Now the questions will be how do we adjust treatments, how do we adjust our standard paradigms for treatment. I've never been first at receiving anything. <laughs> Maybe an F on my report card at one time or another. But uh, it's an honor for me, and I just hope it helps anybody that needed to have the same type of scan to find that bad spot in them. Each cancer is unique and different. With prostate, one of the differentiating factors is it tends to have an infiltrating pattern of growth, and that means it spreads between and amongst normal prostate cancer tissue. So it makes it very hard to image. Traditionally, the imaging technologies that have been available in radiology have not been very successful in finding the, the location of disease that you know from their blood tests must be present. If you think of kidney cancer or bladder cancer, you see a spherical cancer lesion and it makes that easy to biopsy. But with prostate cancer, with its infiltrating pattern of growth, it's hard to, to see it on conventional imaging. I think the PSMA targeted PET really has been a, a major advance, and if uh, the clinician knows where the tumor has recurred, it empowers their treatment decisions for how to manage that patient's case. This place gives you a very comfortable feeling. I mean, I've never felt nervous here. It's just like everybody's so nice. Clearly, nobody wants to have prostate cancer. But if you're going to have prostate cancer, there's no better time to have it than today. The tools available now for diagnosing the disease and planning treatment are as good as they've ever been and are well beyond what was, was possible even five years ago. The exciting thing about the TLEX product launch really is that this now brings this technology to the whole nation so patients across the country will have routine access. To make those quality of life decisions, what to spare, what to preserve, 
uh, or whether to take a, a wide margin in order to get negative margins. Of course, knowing where the cancer is and, and the tumor boundaries is critical. The fact that he can be a part of this whole thing and do something that's going to maybe help other people in the future, let them know that there are other things out there for them to do. I feel very excited. I really do. I'm hoping for a really good result. Get it, definitely. If it's available to you, go. I'll even come with you if you want. <laughs>